Pink Floyd's Saucer Full of Secrets. Their second album, their last one with Barrett. Jug Pan Blues is very depressing, very sad. This is a mono pressing, and I bought it because it was on sale, and now it's cheaper than when I bought it. So, never trust Amazon. Saucer Full of Secrets, Pink Floyd, Let There Be More Light, Remember a Day, Set the Controls for the Heart to Sign, which is arguably the best song on the album. Corporal Clegg is great, but they're kazoos, so that gets on my nerves. Saucer Full of Secrets is a very scary song. Seesaw is just kind of there. Jug Band Blues kind of bear its farewell. Very sad, very sad. So, mono pressing, you open it up, Columbia. I love the black album sleeves. It's very, very nice. I just wish these had lyrics and whatnot. All right. Columbia Records, 33.5 RPM, mono, which I probably should have gotten a stereo version, but the record, my record player is fixed, so now both speakers work, which wasn't happening at the time when I bought this. And on the way, on the way from, from this to my house, from the time I had bought this to the time it arrived, the speakers had started working again, both of them, which was a huge annoyance because this is a mono pressing. So that's very annoying. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. This album's pretty good. I'd put it, mm, I don't know. Personally, not a huge fan of the Division Bell. It'd probably go somewhere around the Division Bell, Adam Hart Mother, in terms of Pink Floyd album ranking. I need to do a video on that album ranking sometime once I have all their albums. Anyways, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day.